Okay, so we made it to Shades of Green, which is awesome, but just outside my room we've got, where did it go? A bird. Hi bird, it's Peacock. I didn't know Florida had peacocks. Let's go say hi to it. Hey bird. Don't worry, I'm not harassing the wildlife. We're gonna leave it be. love these so here's a haul. My family just recently got back from vacation. We were at Disney for a week and we ate down the house. So uh, we came back and we want to replenish and we're trying to reset yet again. So here we go. We've got some cod fillets. These were on sale for $14 for two pounds making them $7 a pound. 50-50 uh, spring mix spinach. I wanted to make some salad this week but we keep just eating romaine and spinach of course has iron in it and I need iron so here we are. Uh, some red potatoes. These are going to go with some chicken. I'm going to try to do a sheet pan with some rosemary and seasonings. Just bananas because who doesn't love bananas? Um, chipotle peppers. Never tried these before. I don't know if they're spicy. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, I'm going to try a chicken bake recipe that called for two chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. So <laughs> let me know in the comments if I'm making a mistake because it's later this week. We have whole kernel corn. This is also for my um, taco, or taco chicken bake. Up here, my local commissary starts, uh, is selling boar's head and I started buying it. So I got some turkey breast and some Swiss cheese. And then for a different recipe, we got some provolone because Garen wants to try, or well, loves making, um, chicken parm using a low point. I think it's two points. Uh, what do you call that? Breading? <laughs> Triple cheese pizzas, these are for my daughter. She only likes cheese pizza. Don't eat these though, they're like terrible on the points. Never tried this seasoning. Hopefully it's delicious. This is roasted garlic. In fact, I'm gonna, can I smell it? Not through that. What? I didn't know if you could smell it through there. Um, sounds delicious. Let me know if you've tried it. Uh, these dressings, I'm actually having success with these, so I've bought two more. This one is an avocado goddess dressing, and this one is creamy Caesar. These are yogurt-based dressings and only 45 calories in a serving, so pretty awesome. Now, these ones we bought to try. Uh, Ken's makes an Italian and a balsamic. I'm not sure if I'll like either of these because I have a really hard time with vinaigrettes and vinegar-based dressings, so... Um, got some more Rufus Teague. I have a bunch of the uh, sugar-free. So we mix this half and half when we make barbecue anything. Uh, garlic, of course. Um, these, haven't tried these, don't know how many points there are. Gonna have to look it up and put them on the screen. But it's 100 calories and zero fats in these, um, which is right up Garen's alley for, uh, he has high cholesterol and can't have a bunch of fat. So this would be a sweet treat he could have. Um, edamame for my daughter. We could eat these if we wanted to. 190 calories in the whole thing. Um, saturated fat, there's one gram if you eat the whole container. I don't know how. It's soybeans. Um, zucchini spirals. We're gonna try a recipe that's shrimp scampi with zucchini noodles and linguine noodles. They're kind of mixed in to lower the, the calories. My understanding though is zucchini noodles like shrink, so you need a lot of them. Uh, the apples peeled. My daughter, my daughter likes her some peeled apples. Carrots um, goes in salad. Goes in. Uh, we make chicken noodle soup for lunches a lot of weeks. We use it for stock. It'll be used in a pot roast this week. Never have to make carrots. Raspberries for the daughter. I'm gonna try these. Okay, cottage cheese and I. We we don't we have a love hate right. I've been buying the the reduced fat. This time I bought regular fat, but with 
fruit. Maybe these are better. Let me know. Um, imitation crab meat. 80 calories in a serving, uh, zero saturated fat. Mix this, for me, I mix it with spicy mayo and I make like a spicy crab mixture. But Garen can eat these with avocado um, and some veggies and have a, um, like a tuna salad, but with crab meat. Uh, rosemary for that chicken I was talking about earlier. Um, Sugar-free jello. Uh, it's one of the sweet treats I like that has no sugar in it. It's 10 calories in the whole container. Parmesan for the um, chicken parm, right? Diet, sparkling cranberry. I didn't think I would like this, but I do. It's actually good. And it's only 10 calories in the can. So, great stuff. Sign Delight goes well with cranberry juice. Um, fake eggs, egg beaters. I don't know what these actually are. Are they eggs? It says it's real egg. Ingredients, egg whites. Okay, why don't they just call it egg whites? Because you can buy egg beater egg whites. Cheese, Colby Jack. This is for the chicken bake. This is for my daughter. Caramel macchiato. Apparently you can buy espresso in K-cups now. Who knew? My son will eat these straight out the bag. Does anybody else's kids do that? They're croutons. <laughs> my daughter will do it too. Red grapes. Mm. <laughs> they look good. Are they good? Mm. Mm. I need to wash them. You shouldn't eat them before you wash them. Um, sweet Vidalia's. I love sweet Vidalia's. We use this? Okay. Confession time. Pot roast is supposed to be a roast, right? Like roast beef or a pot roast. We use spare ribs and this and a bunch of veggies and we put it in the slow cooker and it is amazing and my daughter loves it. My son hates it, but we're gonna make it anyway. Okay, butter spray. The internet has spoken. We have been buying Dave's, I don't have any sitting here. We've been buying Dave's Killer Bread instead of 647 bread. And uh, a lot of people live and die by this spray bread. They toast it and then they just give it a little spray or two and they eat it and apparently it's amazing. So I'm gonna try, but it's zero calories in a, a single spray. I don't know how many sprays you get before it starts counting. Um, I, this is all Garen right here, but apparently we're gonna have some uh, Cinnabon flavored coffee. Extra toasty Cheez-Its for my boy. This is his snack of choice. In the back here, we have parsley for the chicken bake. I have lots of romaine. My daughter's been getting up in the middle of the night making salads. Weird, but that's what she does. I got some more scallions. I actually love these things. Love these things. I put them on my eggs. I put them on the salad. I put them on my chicken bake. I put them on a lot of things. Um, celery for soups and stocks and salads. Uh, same thing, cucumbers for the, for the salads and snacking. Mushrooms for the salads and snacking. Tomatoes for like everything. I think I have four recipes that call for this. I got some pretzel sticks. Haven't had these in a long time. Been craving some salt. Didn't want to eat some chips. Decided, you know, I, it's roughly the same amount of points and calories, but I, I feel less guilty eating a pretzel stick. These though, this is Garen's current kryptonite. He loves this stuff. And it's basically the same calories as chips, but you get one and a half cups. Real eggs to mix with my fake eggs. Lemon, this is for a shrimp scampi we're gonna be making this week. I mean, interested to see how it turns out. This is for the chicken bake. And of course, 10 pounds of chicken, cause this is what we eat every week. And that, my friends, is a $300 uh, grocery haul from our local commissary. It'll feed us for the week and hopefully we'll lose some weight because we found some while we were on vacation. Go figure. Hey, Garen. Yep. What are you doing over there? Working. Working on what? Um... 
So I'm actively trying to find company commanders at Cape May so we can find a parka that was lost. <laughs> I'm doing a workstation rebuild. I've got backups running. Um, I am updating a SharePoint presence environment thing. I'm actively scripting another workstation build. And I am trying to troubleshoot a TPM module that failed. Yes! All at once. <sighs> all at once. Are you getting enough water? Yes. It's a fancy cup you got there. It's a Yeti cup. It was nice of a company to give it to you. Yes. So, what'd you have for lunch? For lunch today, I had a turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich, you say yes. It was turkey and Swiss on Dave's Killer 21 grain bread. Did you know there's 21 grains? I didn't. What do you think of that bread? It's good. Yeah, I agree. It's actually really good. So. You and I tried today? What did you try today? I tried. Ew. It was actually really good. Cottage cheese is not delicious. What's this? Uh, cottage cheese is not delicious. Cottage cheese tastes like... I don't have a family-friendly concept for what cottage cheese tastes like. <laughs> I don't like it. I actually really enjoyed that one. Good. I also had crab salad. Crab salad. Wasn't that like eight points or bites or whatever it is we're doing It was now? eight bites for all of those things. We'll have to talk about the bites. Oh, yeah, we probably should. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Hey, your hair is fantastic. So you've had a hard day at work. Yes. So much work. And now you get to have dinner. Yes. What are you going to have for dinner? I'm going to have a sushi roll. Sushi roll? Why are you going to have a sushi roll? Because I've been craving sushi for like two weeks. But isn't sushi like terrible for you? It's like a whole bunch of calories and bites and stuff. I mean, okay, so sushi, if it's deep fried, if it's coated in sauces, it's bad for you. I love deep fried uh, sushi. You can get brown rice. It makes it healthier. You can get it not deep fried. Healthy. Okay, so brown rice is chewy and nobody actually likes brown rice. I just want to point that out. Um, I tend to get, um, you know, crab, spicy crab based, which has mayo in it. But realistically, if I eat a sushi roll and a salad for dinner, and I didn't eat a double cheeseburger and a side of french fries and... I want a um, double cheeseburger. <laughs> it comes out to be healthier than what I normally would eat. Okay, so you're going to have sushi for dinner because it's amazing and delicious and good. That is correct. Great. So, we kind of did something... Oh, yeah, we, uh, well, I had to turn off, uh, WW. Yeah, which made me sad. It did, it did make me sad, but, um, I have some medical going on. I have to have a major surgery in two weeks that's gonna have me down and out for six weeks. And as much as I love WW, that stuff's expensive. Yep, so I turned it off for now, and while we're, uh, intermittent between being, like, super gung-ho weight loss, um, I'm using, uh, I track Bites, which is free. I track Bites, so... I love WW. Please do no I gotta turn Hey, there's my face. So I love WW. WW is fantastic. I love my coach. I love the program. I love the everything about it. It is great and it works. However, comma space. If we roll back way back when, my big thing was what about calories? And the big thing with calories was I I don't know, I like calories, but I got a kick out of the iTrack Bytes system because not only is it 
points and bites, but uh, it also gives you the calories. And that, that was really cool to me. And I thought it was cool. But. Uh, it's a good opportunity to try something new uh, while we're doing this because um, with all my health stuff going on, I'm, I'm basically, I'm having a full, almost full hysterectomy and uh, it's going to have me out for four to six weeks. So um, I'm not going to be able to work out a bunch. I'm probably not going to eat a bunch at first um, and I didn't want to pay monthly for is it just me or is, <laughs> is medical a really good way to lose weight? Don't do that, kids. We're not doctors. Don't go to the doctor to, yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. But um, the leading up to the surgery, um, I haven't been feeling well. So I haven't been eating. And I've lost five pounds since yeah! Sunday. So that's late Wednesday. I'm down like four. Yeah. But mine's Oops. not because I'm sick. It's because nobody else wants to eat. I was going to say, we're not eating, so you're not eating. <laughs> so, uh, I cook in the household, so that's a thing. So, we'll see what happens. Um, but we, we did make the switch. We made it. We're trying out something new. It's working for us so far. I'll, uh, I'll film it so maybe you can see it um, while we're talking about it. But uh, I like it so far. And you can pay for a version. I think it's like 30 bucks for the whole year. I might do that. Isn't that the premium version that like, lets you build menu plans and yeah. all of that nonsense? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll... It's very much a rip on WW. So if you're on the fence about WW and whether or not you're going to like a point system, uh, maybe try eye track bites first before you go pay for something. And I'm still a guy going, I don't know, what does my fitness pal have to say about this? Well, I'm going to tell you, WW does the coach thing way better. Way better. Uh, if you need somebody to keep you accountable, you need the social aspect, you need a coach, someone you can lean on, WW is for you. If you just want a point system and you don't want to pay for it, I track bites maybe for you. Hmm, there it is. Anywho, we got anything fun coming up this next week? Uh, this week, no. We're catching up from our, our impromptu vacation that we went on to see Hayden see Disney World one last time. And it was fantastic. We actually, that was perfect because we got to go without any masks the whole time until the very last day, which we had no park day that day. Um, and then masks were suddenly required again, so... I think we got the one week in the middle where you didn't have to wear any masks. Which was great. That was pretty great because so, it was hot. It was. So, funny, funny little thing about this is we went down because my oldest boy is, uh, it was going to be his last trip before he takes off for boot camp. But then if you go back and you look at everything in this video, I've got like hardly any footage of him. It's great. He, he did a really good job of hiding. Well, he so. doesn't like to be on film. Okay. No, he, nobody makes him. He's working on um, getting ready for boots, so he's been doing his workouts and Huffing stressing and, and such. you know that stuff. Um, but big things coming. You know, I got surgery, and then we got one more trip to Disney World. Our last one, I swear, for a while. I don't have a problem. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Our last one for a little while, and uh, I'll recover. Maybe I'll feel better. I hope this makes me feel better, um, and I'll be able to move more because. Let me tell you, feeling like this all the time. It's rough. It is. It's hard. Like, you don't want to. You're like, I want to get up, I want to move. And then you get up and you try to move and you're like, oh. Never mind. I realize where the mistake was made. Right? So. Let's go ahead and whip this around. We're going to break for this week. Y'all have a good one. Uh, scroll down, comments, like, subscribe. Ding, ding. Wait for it. Ding. There we go. Have a good one.